I'm back. It's been a couple weeks. Now, I know the other day I did do a live stream. We played a game called Bad Choices. Uh, but besides that, I haven't filmed for a while. I've just been getting uh, the house organized and working outside and stuff like that, you know. And it's been raining, of course. <laughs> it's getting ready to rain again. Of course it's raining. I live in Jersey. However it goes. Anywho, so there's a few things I have to do today. One, I gotta go to the post office. I need to pick up a few boxes because I have to mail out some packages. Um, then, I'm not sure if I want to go to the hair store today or tomorrow. Because if I go today, that means I have to go to the one in town. And the one in town don't have much to choose from. You know, I like to get my ponytails. I go another day and go to them. I, I don't know. But I need to go to the bank, deposit some money, and then I have to go to Walmart. I was going to go to shot rate too, but I don't feel like doing all that. It's almost 3 o'clock. It's getting a little late in the day. I woke up today with such back pain. Um, oh, I got to go to Rite Aid. I got to remember to get my medicine. But I woke up with such back pain today. Um, I notice when I sleep in a certain way for like a couple hours, like if I sleep hard, you know, because of my back injury, I wake up with such back pain. But then as time goes on, as the day progresses, like it kind of works itself out. So I'm still at that ending stage. Like I can feel it, but it's kind of like going away, if that makes sense. Oh, they have signs up here now. What does that say? 30 minute parking, postal patrons only. Violate, violators towed at owner's expense. All right, let me go in here, get a couple boxes, and I'll be right back. Okay, I figured I'll show you what the outside looks like. So it looks a little, like, drowsy, not drowsy. I, I can never think of the right word. It's getting, like, cloudy out. What is that word, dark and cloudy? Drowsy? No. I can't think of the word. When I'm editing, I'm like, oh, that's the word. Anywho. Uh, dreary. That's the word. Dreary. It's like dreary out. Uh, I'll turn you around so you can see the... You see how it's starting to get dark a little bit? Let me zoom you in. A little bit. Alright, let me go in here and, and uh, get these boxes. Okay, so I got these. I had to get three of them. I have three packages to send out. Alright. Where's my hand sanitizer? Freebie. I'm getting that nauseous feeling again. I keep getting it a lot. Ugh. All right. Do I want to go to the hair store or not? Because the hair store is right around the corner. No, nope. I'll go another day. But I do need to go to the pharmacy and get my medicine. I see you. So what have you guys been up to lately? Like I said, I really haven't been up to much. Um, I'm getting ready to, I don't know if I'm gonna film it today or tomorrow because I haven't put up a video in like two weeks on my beauty channel. Um, but May is mental health month and I do want to make a video about, you know, mental health, what I've been going through, getting a little bit more into detail with things I haven't shared yet, but on that channel, because on that channel, I don't really get too personal. And, you know, I have a little, more, a little bit more of a following over there, so it's like I want to get more, uh, the more eyes on that video, the better, because I do think mental illness, mental health, um, protecting your peace, all of that should be talked about more, not just in the month of May. I think it should be talked about all year, to be honest with you. And, um, but I'll also talk a little bit on this channel as well, you know, this month. But, so I plans on doing that. I got an, I said before, earlier that, so we uh, played a game called, um, Bad Choices. And anyway, my new game came in today from Amazon. I ordered, it's called Pick Your Poison. And that's more of a would you rather, you know, choose A or B. And um, I can't wait to play that with you guys. I'm so excited. Oh, there's nobody. I bet you, I bet you they're going to say, drive through is closed. Because for some reason, we usually have one or two people working. So they don't have enough for the drive through
but I'm gonna go inside, I think. Okay, let me just go inside. I want to talk to him because my Ozempic has been out of stock for like a over almost two months. I need to take it, um, take, I need to call other pharmacies and see who has it in. I'm not going to get started. You know how I am. It's because all these people are taking it just for weight loss. All right. Let me go get my medicine and I'll be back. Okay, so I got that done with. All right, so now, I am going to Walmart. I went and I checked my, you know, my blood pressure and my, um, my weight. And it says on there I'm 157. And, but um, I think 27, my BMI is 27.9 or something like that. Whatever it is, or 29, I can't remember. It still says I'm overweight. But it used to say obese. And it's like, I mean, I guess I would be considered overweight. But see, that's why I don't like stuff like that because it just goes by average. But there's some people that are thicker, like, that maybe have boobs and a butt and thighs or maybe that are just bottom heavy or top heavy or uh, some people are just small framed, some people are bigger framed. So you just can't go by that because people carry weight differently in other places, right? So, you know, 150 pounds might be obese on some people but may look damn good <laughs> on somebody else. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. So. I don't tend to really go by that, but it sucks that a lot of doctors do, you know? I mean, I could stand to lose more. Like I said, I want to get down to like 141. I, I, I'll even be happy with 145. I don't really want to go any thinner than that because I do like my body shape. I just want to lose my stomach. You know what I mean? So that's that. So remember I said about me wanting to sign up for that boxing and stuff that I already talked to the guy and then you guys know what happened. And then I wound up in the hospital and all that. So my kids got me this boxing thing for at home. And you know, well I want to sign back up is because I, I love boxing. I really, really do. And I think it's very good um, exercise. And it's very good for your arms. It's very good for your core because you know when you punch, when you box, you, you turn your hips with it. With your that's where um, your strength comes from too. It comes from here, but it also comes from that turn, you know. And um, I don't know. I just think that that'll be good, and then I could just do it at home and see how that works. So I'm very excited about that. It was already supposed to be here, but now it was stuck in Kentucky, so now it will be here. Um, So I'm definitely excited about that. I think I'm going to put it on the dining room. I'll show you a little video how it's supposed to look right here. You say that I'm psychotic. But then you like it like that. All right, here I go. See, I get this nauseous feeling and stuff again. So let me go ahead. Once I get to Walmart, I'll be right back. So let's go in here and go. Guess, what? <laughs> let me try that again. I feel a little bit better. I've been sitting here for about 10, 15 minutes. And one of the medicines I picked up is for nausea. Let me show you what they prescribe me. I know you guys ask me a lot. I don't want to get my, any of my information. But anyway, that's what I take for when I'm not, when I'm nauseous. So, and it works really, really well. Okay, so let's, it looks like it's starting to rain a little bit. So let's go in here and get some shopping. And then once I get done, I want to come back and talk to you guys about a few things. You know, mental health wise um, and different things. And also, you know, the online drama and just a few things I just want to talk about. So I'll be back. <laughs> let's see what we can get in Walmart. Oh, I got to go to the bank. Wait a minute. Let me see what I got to do. Hold on. My memory is getting so bad. Let me... Hold the phone. Got my money right here. Let me see. Gotta remember. Go to the bank. Okay, so the first thing is clearance aisle. I'm looking. They already have stuff for uh, 4th of July. Look. So, I have this stuff so far. What are these? 
Five dollars. Ooh, I don't know why I'm getting these. I wish they sold stuff like this. See, when my kids were younger, they didn't sell stuff like this because, you know, it was illegal in Jersey. Still is, but um, they didn't have anything like this I could do with the kids. You always had to go out of state like Virginia and stuff. All right. I need to get another reef for my door, too. I still have, like, the fall, <laughs> the one I have up. It has, like, sunflowers or something on it. So I need to get uh, another like wreath. I just don't know what kind. Like summertime one. Oh, here's all the class of 2024. Let me show you. Isaiah was the last one. He was class of 2022. But they didn't have a graduation. They couldn't walk with their class. That's cute. A little pillow. Because that's when COVID still happened. So all that hard work and you, you, you weren't allowed to have a graduation. You couldn't walk with your class and stuff. They, they, they mailed you your thing. Sad. My God, do you remember this back in the day? Or the tic-tac-toe one with the things, with these bean bags? Oh, this is before internet and stuff when kids actually had fun. All right, I'm in the clearance aisle. All right, let me see if I find anything. I'll be back. So I love um, shirts like this. Oh. Need to try stuff on. I like this blue one though. I need to come here one day and try some clothes on. Because now that I'm feeling a little bit more secure, you know what I mean, about myself, and now I'm single, ready to mingle. You know, oh, look at this. This is really pretty too. I need to start buying some sundresses. This is so pretty. See at Walmart, it's only $12.98. Look at that. That's really pretty. Oh, or even like stuff like this. Oh, this is really pretty too. Except for I wish these were shorts. I like this. All right, what do you think about this? Do you like these? I, I kind of dig it. Do you like it or not? I do. I like these a lot. Can I find a sugar daddy in these? <laughs> or they look dumb? Let me know down below. No lie, when I was younger, in my 20s and stuff, these scarf thingies I wore as a shirt and I showed off my stomach because I never had abs, but I had a flat stomach. And then I'd wear my shorts and stuff. Oh, that is so crazy, the stuff, how it's coming back in stock. Oh, look, here's a picture right here. And it's supposed to be here, but look, that's how I, exactly how I used to wear them. Those were the days. <laughs> okay, so I got this stuff, but of course I forgot bags. But I only need to get a few more things, and then um, that's that. Let me show you. So, I just got a few things. That's it. Alright, let me, um, I'm trying to think what else I need. Okay, let me uh, just get a few things and then get in the car because, like I said, I don't want to talk to you guys about a few things. I wonder how much you think. You think this will be over 200 or 300? I don't know. Take a guess and let me know down below. Okay, so I, it came to 232 or 242. I'll look at the uh, receipt when I get in the car. And of course, I have no bags. Where did I park at? Because I know I didn't park too far. Oh, this happens to me. See, I can't make this up if I wanted to. It happens to me every single time. Where the hell did I park at? Like, I'm not kidding. 15 minutes later. Oh my God, I'm way over there. I'll be right back. I can feel it starting to rain. So let me uh, hurry up and show you the cart. All right, so that's everything that I got. Of course, I had to get the puppies some stuff. Oh, that slap your mama. Let me know if you ever tried that seasoning. Oh, it's so good. All right, let me get everything in the car because if you guys can see, it's starting to rain. Okay, let's see. I think it, I think it came to, let me see. 232.42 is how much it came to. 
All right, so I thought between two and 300, so that's good. Now I got to go to the bank, I got to deposit $500, and then that's it, and then go home. I'm gonna try to get this edited up and go out um, tonight because I haven't, I hope if I put it in drive, because I haven't put a video up in a while. So this vlog will probably be a little bit shorter than usual. Um, but, you know, I'm getting back on the ball. I know. Last time I said it too, like, oh, I feel better. We're going to start having a lot more vlogs. <laughs> oh, my God. I need to stop saying that. But th this is what, like, depression and mental illness is, you know? Which is what I want to talk about a little bit. For the past few months, well, it's been longer than that. But I want to say last year, the end of last year, you know, I've been dealing with some, like, online drama and stuff, right? And, I mean, listen, I, I, I was part of the problem. Let, let's keep that 100. I'm not going to sit here and say that I was innocent because I certainly was not. You know, I was calling people gross pigs and fake-ass friends and all that kind of stuff, which I still 100% believe in that. I, I believe that. Um, you know, when I took up for, like, Tira's son, um, I, I still stand on what I said. Nobody should be using people's children or anything to hurt them. You know, there's a lot of people online that like to troll or like what I like to say, like to throw in kill shots. Um, in other words, like, you know, they don't really want to argue. They, they want to get you where it hurts, you know, because they're, they're looking for a response. So, you know, that's why I always say never show your weakness, you know, which I need to practice what I preach too because that's where they get you at. And the more that you show it bothers you, they'll, they'll just keep it up, you know. So, you know, I, I had some things that happened to me, you know, um, I like lost it, uh, especially when my, my daughter got doxxed, um, you know, with her legal name, not just her first name, you know, if it was just her first name, yeah, I would have been pissed off, but you know, her first, her middle initial and her last name, which is totally different from mine, really pissed me off and it set me over the edge because one, I was dealing with a lot of personal issues as well, right? But that just really like put me over the edge because, you know, my, my child did nothing. You know, she, she didn't do anything wrong. She don't talk. I haven't even, uh, like I've never went to anybody's channel or comment section and ever been disrespectful ever, ever to anybody. I, I, I've never have. I've never called people out their name. I've never done any of that. Anything that I have to say, I say it on my channel. You know, if I think you're a gross pig or what have you, that's my opinion. That's just a name. I'm, you know, whatever. Uh, you know, that sticks and stones might break my bones, but names will never hurt me, you know? Or I'm rubber, you're glue. Whatever you say bounces off to me and sticks to you. Remember that back in the day. You know, it's very weird, uh, you know, like sometimes, you know, like people took it out on me for what others say and every other people have a right to feel how they felt. If other people have their opinions, that's them. I'm never going to be like, no, you can't have your opinion, but that's not me. You can't hold me. Just like when I was going, when me and this person were going back and forth, other people were making videos threatening me. I can't hold them accountable because they were the first ones to say, uh, they don't live with me. I can't, you know, that's not my fault what they say. You can't hold me accountable, which they're correct. But then practice what you preach, right? Because in the same aspect, I'm not the one who got ignorant or smart with you or your subscribers or what have you. So again, don't take it out on me. And it's like, that's why in my child got doxxed. What? Even if I was the biggest liar and my kids were on my YouTube channel every single day and I, and I was like, nope, they don't do YouTube. They still didn't deserve to be docs regardless because I didn't do anything wrong to have that happen. Or my daughter, like take it out on me. And like I was trying to tell people, that is a safety thing. It's a safety, you know, especially like leaking addresses and all that kind of stuff. That is definitely... Um, a, a safety issue and um starting th this past february see in january of 2024 they passed this vaspa order um for cyber bullying but as of february 2024 any doxing they put now in the state of new jersey you can get them for criminal yeah they can be criminally charged um so that's just a heads up but I think that was what, I, it just really drew me over the edge, and it put me 
in a place I don't like to go. And I think a lot of it had to do with, now the, I, I said, uh, I'll link the video down below if you haven't watched it, what really happened with my ex-husband and my son. And I felt like I didn't keep my son safe. I felt guilty because I'm the one who married this man. I'm the one who put this man in my kid's life. And in turn, he almost put my son in, in prison for 10 years. Um, I felt like I didn't protect my kids, right? And so I'm going through that, which is a, a big thing. I, I, ne I never really handled my divorce because what, I, I don't care who you are, even like I'm happy the divorce happened. I, that needed to happen, but it still hurts. It's still painful. And how it went about um, is very painful. And my closest friends know. So I was very angry on that. There's, a, you know, getting off this subject for a second, I do want to say this. Well, no, let me finish because I always lose my train of thought. So I felt like I didn't protect my son. I put my son in danger. And then I felt like my daughter. I put my daughter in danger because now she her, her name got leaked and all this kind of stuff. And, you know, somebody reached out to her. And I, it's just crazy. And so I think because of that, when you deal with personal stuff and that, that was just like the icing on the cake. And, you know, I wanted to put an RO on, like, whoa, you don't do that, you know, uh, and to stop anything that was for happening, not, not for, for somebody to stop talking about me. I'm, I'll never take somebody's freedom of speech. If they think I'm a gross pig, then that, that, okay, you think I'm a gross pig. That, that had nothing to do with it. It was the fact you put my child's safety at risk. And no matter if they're an adult or not, they're still my children. In the state of New Jersey, if they live with me, I can, I can I'm still, like, I can fight for them. Just because they're adults doesn't mean anything. Um, the problem that I had when I went to court is I didn't have my shit together because I was just out of the hospital. The disk drive that I did had didn't work, um, and I had issues with it. So when I went to court that morning, I literally had 30 seconds to, um, uh, send the judge over some things. And as she was walking in and called my name, I couldn't send everything because it, in, in the email, you can only have, I think like 59 seconds. And the clip that I had was like five minutes long. So I'm trying to break it up. And anyway, um, and she wouldn't let me show her what my whole thing is. It wasn't because I lied. I didn't have my shit together. One, I should have just, um, postponed it because my health was not there, was not with it. Two, I should I, I was being nice and having this person not come to Jersey because I knew he couldn't afford it. So I didn't have to do that. I could have been like, nope, I want him to come to Jersey. You know, um, so anyway, it got denied, but I still stand by what I said. And if anything happens again, if anything gets docked, doxed again, I'm gonna take a criminal. And I think any everybody should because, it, you know, if something's starting to affect your mental health, either a stay off online, for me, this is my job. This is my income. This is how I get paid. So it's a little different for me. I can't just stop you two, right? I mean, I could, but this is my job. And I'm not going to allow a man to have me stop doing YouTube. Um, and so I just took the precautions. I spoke to a lawyer, talked to a lawyer. The lawyer told me, don't look for anything, you know, don't don't go over, you know, whatever the case may be, they'll take care of things and we'll move forward if anything happens. Because like I said, right, like I told my lawyer, I don't want to move forward. I don't want to do anything. Everything's been quiet and that's all that I, that I want. And, um, plus he has enough going on in his personal life. I don't want to add to it. If he just leaves me alone, I just want to be left alone. So like I said, my mental health, so it was really, um, being affected on YouTube where I didn't want to film. And that's the truth. I didn't want to film. I didn't want to do a lot of vlogging because I thought my safety was, you know, it, it's just a lot of things. And, um, you know, going back to that, I think what egged it on, why I kind of overreacted as well. Um, I had my mother and grandmother's obituaries. Somebody sent that in an email to me. Now I believe the account that they sent was fake but they still sent it to try to show me like, look, we can find you. Somebody, they said my uh, address, not my whole address, but the street address. They said where my post office was, said, I know your schedule. Then I, I, I don't know who did this, so I can't put blame on anybody, but my mother and grandmother's obituary was sent to me, just the link. It was like, so I had to like do something, you know, um, cause I'm not gonna be threatened. It's 4.30. 
let me go in real quick. Let me deposit this money. I want to come back out because I also want to talk about um, other things as well. That's very important. So I'll be right back. Okay. It is raining. Let me put the air on. I don't know what that face was. Okay. So like I was saying about this mental health and everything. And so for me, I, 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 I've explained this before, but like, you know, I thought it was like, I'm getting depressed again because, you know, last year was, you know, coming up with, you know, another year, you know, Thanksgiving, which would be the anniversary of my mother's death. Um, then Christmas and then December 12th, you know, I got married on 12, 12, 12. That would have been my 12 year, right? Or 11 year. I can't remember. Um, wedding anniversary, which like I said, I wasn't, you know, we were separated. Um, and then I was just going through some personal things like my son, trying to keep my son out of prison. Like it, it was bad, you know? Um, and then December also started with this online drama, you know, which like I said, I could have ignored it from the beginning. I added to it. Okay. So understand that, you know? Um, but I, I think it was just going a little bit too far and with the threats and stuff, you know, I, I um, I don't know. Then in January, um, you know, my, my divorce was finalized and it was like, I, even though, like I said, I was happy, but I felt like a failure. I felt like I put 11, 12 years into some, something, some relationship and look how they did my children. Look, look how, look how he did my children. I, I supported him. Like, what did I get out of it? Good health insurance. Yes. Um, that actually saved my life, you know, um, but I mean, I have health insurance now, not being with them, I mean, not as good, but you know, uh, and I think I stayed around a lot because the only adults in person I had was my mother, my grandmother, and my husband. And now I felt like they're all gone. So when my mother and grandmother died, I felt like an orphan, right? But at least I still had my husband because my children are not my friends. I'm friendly with them. And yes, they're adults, but they're not my friends, right? I, they'll never be my friends. And, you know, I don't talk to them about personal stuff. And, you know, I have to be the strong one, right? And I just felt like I, I, I lost everything. So it was like, I was trying to hold on to that just to have somebody around because even if it wasn't in a positive thing, this is how mental illness works. It was like, because of my depression, I just felt like if I, I had somebody around, if I wanted to talk to, so I wasn't going crazy, not having anybody to talk to day after day, after day, after day, you know what I mean? Um, now I see things differently, but I'm talking about then. And then, like I said, with what happened with the, not just be the online drama, it's just with my daughter. And then it's like people support it. It was like there, they were okay with what was going on, even though it was going too far. But yet if it happened to them, if they got doxxed or anything like that, you know, they had, they had a connection. <laughs> it's like, I, I, I don't know, very weird. Um, so I think I took it if my, it, now, like if everything happened now, my daughter got doxxed or me or whoever, uh, yes, I still would take it. Um, but I wouldn't have took it as far. Um, I think it was just everything. And it was like, I was just trying to protect my children because I felt like I, I failed my son, which I don't feel like that anymore, you know? Um, but at that time I did. And, you know, I felt like I failed my daughter and it was like, I, I, I don't know how to explain it. And so what I've been doing is just, well, and so then when I got sick and I was in the hospital, I realized like, Ann, you can die. Like stress can kill, especially me having heart issues and different things. And it's like, it's not worth it. Especially somebody you don't know who can't like, it's not worth it. Um, people that don't want to be in your life, like my husband and all that kind of stuff that didn't want to be married to me, didn't want to treat me right. Didn't want to help be a help me. I can't control that. And it's like good riddance, you know, and I had to go back to me. And like I said, this when I got my study Bible and I started like, uh, months ago, I started to where I go to bed early now. 
I used to stay up to four or five o'clock in the morning and talk on the phone or whatever the case may be. I'm in bed by like one o'clock now. Most some days I'm up later, but I'm in bed. I go in my room around 11, 1130 and I don't talk really talk on the phone. I read my Bible every single night or I watch church every single night for hours. I listen to gospel music every single night. Then when I wake up, same thing, when I drink my coffee. And that's what I, for months and months, I don't talk to anybody. I don't talk to people because I had to get my mind right. I had to get my faith back right. You know, I had to do all of that. And that has helped me tremendously, you know. And now I look at it like, if people don't want to be in your life, let them go. I feel like this. You know, this is how I have to think like with my marriage, right? And I'm not talking about anything else but my marriage. Sometimes it's better to let them go. And I ha once I really realized that and said my life is better off, because it's hurtful not to feel loved. It really, really is. It's helped me mentally. And so like I'm trying to tell you, and this is why I share a lot of my personal things, problems with you guys, because so many of us, it's, it's relatable. So many of us is going through that. We went through divorce. We have had a divorce. You know, uh, we, we had heartbreak. Uh, we tried in relationships and it didn't work. You know, all of us and vice versa. And it's just relatable. And I just want you guys to know, like, some, just because you see me on here all happy and I'm able to go to Walmart and spend money or go food shopping or do this, and I say me and my kids have a great relationship, it doesn't mean my life is perfect. And that's why, like I said, I talk about it. Um, and I talk about mental health. I have been diagnosed with bipolar years ago, a couple years ago. I've been, de I, I, I have depression. I suffer from anxiety and I'm also not medicated. That's another thing I want you guys to talk, that I want to talk about. So many people like will say, okay, well I would have done this or I do this. Yeah, but maybe you can handle your mental illness because you're medicated or have dealt with it. Me, I haven't dealt with my, my mental illness. I have not dealt with it. I'm not on medication, which is a me thing which I need to go back on. And I have been talking to a doctor now about talking about going back on medication and different things like that, because that's what I need to do. So when you suffer from these, and this is not making excuses, but when you suffer from these illnesses and you're not taking care of yourself, it's kind of like telling a mentally ill person you're, you're struggling, but they don't see it because they're mentally ill. So they're like, I'm fine but we all see it. Well, it's the same thing with me. Everybody else seen it, but I didn't see it. I felt like, oh, I can handle it. I can deal with it. But what what, what happened? It landed me in the hospital because I couldn't deal with it. I started having, I, I, I had a breakdown. That's what it was. I literally had a breakdown, a mental breakdown, not because of the online drama, not because of the, it was just the icing on the cake. It was everything. So this is not anybody's fault. This is a me thing because I didn't deal with my shit the way I should have. Um, and that's what I'm doing now. And so for me, I just had to shut everything down and go back to my roots, go back to my faith, go back to how I was and start from scratch. And, um, that's what I'm doing. And, uh, people that care about me understand and you know, that, that, that's that, you know, um, if I hurt anybody, I apologize. There's many of you that reached out to me, but that's what I had to do. I kind of had to shut everybody off for me because I started to feel like, why, why do I want to be in this world? I started getting like that. I would never do anything to myself because I have my children, but I started having those feelings and that's when I had to shut everything off. And for my help, I had to do that. And then I was taking things out on people that, yeah, did shit, but I was taking it out on the wrong people. Do you understand what I'm saying? I overreacted with things I wouldn't have re reacted to. And um, I had to realize that too. And I also had to realize, like, and, you know, I felt guilty, but it's like, it's okay. I've dealt with the last four years losing my parents, having a divorce, going through everything I go through, like, that's a lot. Some people take uh, uh, at least a couple, two, three, four years to just go through the death of their mother or a parent or whatever. I had a lot of things taken from me and this is a new life. My new life is just me and my children. That is my new life. And that's, that. It, it's hard when that's not what you're used to. Um, but what choice do I have? 
Um, and so, like I said, that's, and when you don't have any real life friends, that, that's another hard thing, you know? Um, so I was dealing with everything by myself. You know, I didn't have anybody to lean on in person. And somebody like me, that's no good because I sit in my room and I get depressed and I don't want to film because when I used to film all the time, I got, <laughs> I was very negative, but then when I don't film, I don't make money. And then, like I said, this is my main source of income. So then I'm even more depressed. So it was like a, like a just vicious circle. You know what I mean? I know like when I used to talk about like going through my divorce with my husband, <laughs> you guys would be like, just let it go. Or, or some people would say, not for the most part, you guys have been by my side, but some people would say like, you know, you share too much personal information or, or whatever. But now that you guys understand what my husband did, or what I was going through, you could see where that anger was coming from, right? Um, but still, I mean, I should have handled it in a different manner. I, I get that. I had to let go of the anger. Does that make sense? I had a lot of anger with my husband. I had already, I blocked him, by the way, for weeks. When I made that video about... Uh, you know, the court and all that kind of stuff, I immediately blocked them. Um, so, I, I had to do that, you know. I'm not angry anymore. I'm still hurt, but I'm not angry. Does that make sense? I don't know. I just wanted to come on and talk a little bit about that, about mental health. What's going on? And that, guys, I'm, I'm really in a good headspace. I mean, yes, I still suffer from depression. Yes, I still need, I need to get medicated. I need to get on a, um, a plan. I get that. But losing that anger uh, really helped me a lot, you know? And realizing, like, you can't make people want to stay. You can't make people want to be in your life. And even though it may be hurtful, but sometimes maybe it's for the best. You know what I mean? Um, that's how you have to think, you know? And, and, and I'm learning that. The hard way, but I'm learning that, you know? I'm glad I have really good friends because let me tell you something. My good friends have really um, helped me through this. So I really thank you guys. And you guys know who you are. I really, really appreciate you guys. Um, even when it's three, four o'clock in the morning and I'm up crying and or upset, um, thank you. And thank you for sticking by me. I really, really mean that. I've always said, if, boy, if people can stick by you on your worst of times, like, you know, keep them around. Because if they don't want to be by you by your worst of times, you don't need them on your best of times, right? Can I get an amen? <laughs> you know. But anyway, as far as that, like with my online drama, that's over with. I haven't heard anything. I'm done. I, I threw the white flag up. I'm like, I, no, I'm not going to do it. But, you know, if anything get, happens like docs or anything like that, I'll take it. But it, it will never be online. I don't like messing with people's channel. I don't strike them or anything like that. I just, I, I, I don't know. Now, and listen, well, if there's something that needs to be said, if I think people are gross or the behavior is gross, absolutely I'll talk about it. But as far as the online beef going back and forth, that's not going to happen. I won't watch people that make videos on me. You know what I mean? Um, I don't care. I just care if you put me or my children's safety at risk. That's all. All right, I'm going to get off of here. Like I said, it's starting to rain, and it's 444. So the boys should be home. They can help me bring the stuff in. But anywho... I hope I wasn't sad because I wanted to be positive to let you guys know like I'm learning and you know I'm not I'm not perfect you know I, I'm a sinner I tell you guys that all the time and I'm flesh and I'm still learning at 48 years old I'm still learning I still got a lot to learn and um but I'm, I'm getting better you know I'm learning from my mistakes <laughs> And I am in a much better mood. And I learned, like, letting go of anger really has helped me. I can say for that. But, all right, I'm going to get off of here. Please thumbs up this video. It really does help me out. Thumbs up this video. Help me get back in the algorithm because I am way off the algorithm. Um, I'm going to go live. I'm not sure which channel. Any day now, we're going to play that game Pick Your Poison. And then when I get the boxing thing, when I get it set up, we're going to be doing that as well. All right, I'm going to get off of here.
Make sure you leave a comment. Commenting really does help out with engagement, even if it's just an emoji. It would mean the absolute world to me. Stay beautiful, stay blessed, stay healthy, and most importantly, always stay you. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.